All right. So next, we are going to add business logic to our suggestion box app. So what are we going to be adding on this module? First, we are going to add a formula field. Second, we are going to add a validation rule here. Third, we are going to add a process builder and do a field update. Okay, let's go ahead and do these three steps and dive into our hands-on org. So, I'm going to go back to the setup here home. First things first, we are going to create a formula field on the suggestion object. So, go to the object manager here. Go to your suggestion object over here and fields and relationships make a new field and it's going to be a formula let's take a look and it says number of days open so i'm just going to copy this numbers number of days open so back here and next numbers of number of days open it's going to be a number let's take a look and decimal places zero so what does this do so with this field we will know how many days uh, does the suggestion has been open has it been a long time or a short time and then we can decide what to do based on that pretty helpful right so i'm going to hit next here and let's copy the formula here so what it's saying let me just copy this first and analyze if the implement the implemented date the implemented date is blank is it's blank there is no value then the value of days open here would be today minus when the record was created okay if it's not blank there is something there mean it has been implemented right so basically we just minus the from the implemented date minus the created date of the date value okay so do we have to put a help text on there um let's see not really okay so check syntax it's all good it's all green no syntax errors so i'm gonna go ahead and hit next over here make it all visible for everybody and save for now so let's see that's it right now second add a validation rule all right same thing on the suggestion I'm going to add a validation rule, which is at the bottom here, validation rule. And if I go back here, what should we name it? Rule name date in range, all right? Date in range. So it's blanking out on me. So I'm going to refresh this page. All right, new validation rule here. Rule name is, let's see again date in range i'm just going to copy this so when we are verifying it's exactly matching all right so now the actual formula we are going to copy the formula here implemented date has to be um, in the past right okay so if i go back here so this is the bad the bad data as we talked about remember on our previous trail discussing about validation rule this is the bad data so this is the bad data bad data is implement implemented date is in the future it, it has to be in the past or today because it has been implemented right so if it's wrong show the error message if the the data is bad show the error message there so what is the error message we want to display 
here. The implementation date must be today or in the past. It can't be in the future. Where do we want it? Top of page or on the field? Do they say it? Um, error location field implemented date. All right. So I'm going to make field here and this field and save. So we get our validation. It is active here, as you can see. So that's good. Next, add a field update using a process builder. Have we uh, do process builder before? I don't think so, right? So I think this would be the first one we're going to make a process builder together. Maybe we did, but um, let's do it again. So this process builder is accessible from the setup and then home. And then you go process builder here, process builder. And hit that process builder. And we are going to make a new one. Yeah, we've touched that before. I'm going to make a new one for this challenge. And the name will be update status. Okay, I'm going to copy this and paste it over there. The process starts when a record changes. Okay, I'm going to hit save. Add object that would be the suggestion. Suggestion there. When the record is created or edited or, or when it's created. Let's see a record changes. And created or edited. Okay, so I'm going to hit save here. So when it's created, this rule is going to be triggered. And when it's edited, it's going to be triggered as well. I think we are going to discuss more in depth about process builder in the next module, which is if we see here. Um, well, yeah, I'm pretty sure in the next module. Okay. So now add a criteria. Criteria name is implemented question mark, right? Implemented like that. Has it been implemented? Impl implemented? Has the idea been implemented or not? Okay. And then select formula evaluates to true. So I'm going to copy the, var the formula here. And come on already. Copy that. So formula e evaluates to true. So if this is true, so if the suggestion implemented date is not blank, so this is how, do, how you do it, not is blank, and then the field. So this means this means the, the implemented date is not blank, right? So if it's not blank, we are going to do this process, right? I'm going to save this. And we're going to add an action, add action. Action type is up, update records, action name, update status to implemented. Okay, go back here. So add action, update record at the bottom here. Boom, record type is Select the suggestion record that started the process. Choose. Okay. And then what do we update here? And then no criteria, just update the records. And then we basically set the status to be implemented. All right. So no criteria, just update the records. The status is implemented and save. So let's go through this one more time. So if the suggestion object, the record is created for the first time or it's edited, then we check when it's edited or created, we check 
is the implemented date has a value or not? Is it blank or not? And execute the action if it's true. So if it's not blank, if it's not blank, meaning the date is filled in, there is a date, and then we do the action. Oh, there is a date. So make the status to be implemented, right? So that's what it's doing. So basically, if I go activate here, confirm. So I'm telling you, if I go back here and make a new suggestion. So for example, if this date is filled with any date, the implemented or the status will change automatically to implemented. You don't even have to do that. You just skip none. But if there is a implemented date, it means it has been implemented. So you don't even have to pick this. It will do it for you in the background. So you want to see how it's, how it's done. So let's hit next or new. Suggestion name is make trailhead more fun. It's already fun, but make it more fun. Okay, let's see the status and then and put videos on the trailhead module so we can learn better, you know, and save it. So notice it hasn't been implemented. The status is new, right? The category, let's pick one. Well, let's see other. And we, ha we hit save. Now, if I put an implementation date here. Oh, it has been implemented um, today. See, the status is new. I didn't, I didn't touch this yet, I, and I'm not going to touch it. It's new, and I save it. Look at that. It's now implemented. Means the process is working, right? So that's it. We just actually tried out the app. And you can see the validation rule in action. If I go back here and I change the implement implemented date in the future, it will not allow it. Boom. The implementation date must be today or in the past, not in the future. We hit a snag. Okay. Pretty cool, pretty cool right now. Everybody can make sure the data entered is really clean and therefore it is trust worthy people can trust the data that's very important so that's all we are going to verify the step and next on we are going to talk about reports and dashboards so basically this whole app is touching everything pretty cool and i'll see you on the next one bada bing bada boom hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom